Time and again, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers suits have proven their worth, their greatness, not by not making mistakes, not by not going through adversity, but how they bounce back from it. It happened when Zach Kolaris was hurt. They won a couple of games. Kolaris comes back, makes some mistakes, some big ones in the first half, but here we are, a 30-point Winnipeg victory. That first mistake, the very first play of the game offensively where Zach Kolaris goes tries to roll out to his right and I it, uncharacteristic mistakes Rod because these were decisions to throw against the flow as you're rolling to your right pick six in the very first play of the game so the Bombers down by seven but you're right championship teams keep battling and through the ups and downs of that roller coaster ride of the first half for number eight he threw a couple of touchdowns to Dalton Schoen so two pick sixes one pick in the first half that took points off the board but championship caliber teams back each other. Their defense played solid. Zach Kalaras got it together. Ended up with 240, four touchdowns, and then those three interceptions. Three picks in the first half, but yeah, he ends up having more in the end zone for touchdowns. And here's what he had to say afterwards to John Lou. Zach, in your return to play, a little bit of a bumpy start, but as, uh, as the first quarter wore on, you feel like that you got uh, more into a groove yeah, you know, uh, you know, put our team in, in, in a bad spot there twice, uh, three times really in the first half. Uh, you know, the one that wasn't returned for a touchdown uh, took boys, points off the board for us. So, uh, you know, hats off to our defense and the guys around me for, you know, picking me up. I know it's not an individual sport, but I put them uh, in a bad spot with uh, some bad decisions. Yeah, speaking of your defense, uh, third quarter, uh, Winston Rose's interception. It does feel like that was a game-changing moment that they gave you short fields three times in that quarter. Uh, that, that all turned into points out yeah, off turnovers. I think they did early on as well. I, I can't recall exactly, but uh, they were unbelievable all night long. You know, Winston does a great job out there. Hey, ball's uh, on her pocket. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they gave up three points tonight. I think they gave up, what, three points last week too? They're unbelievable. Yeah, I was just about to ask that. It's like, what is, uh, how would you characterize the way your defense is playing right now? Been over eight quarters since they've given up an offensive touchdown. I mean, they're, they're obviously, uh, you know, they're super talented, but, you know, they're also smart. They understand their their jobs and what they're trying to do week to week. You know, they're, they're tough, to, tough to practice against. I almost said a, a bad word there. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're great. Really good. Thanks for the suck. Take care. Yeah, and rightfully so, a lot of praise for that Blue Bomber defense who did an excellent job against uh, Montreal's offense. And then Kalaros, kudos to him for coming back in the face of adversity, but he had praise for his teammates. Uh, one in particular, Brady Oliveira, how about the game he had? Yeah, well, the offense was going through this roller coaster ride with Zach Kalaros in the first half. Brady Oliveira was just getting to work, and this is what he does so well, whether it's running in the interior, bouncing it outside, he was so consistent. Second straight game against Montreal, over 100 yards rushing. He finishes with 18 carries, 119 yards, one rushing touchdown, and one catch for a touchdown. But I think what's most important is what Zach said in the interview, which was, you know, good teams find a way to pick each other up. When one guy is struggling, another guy will keep it on the rails by playing super consistent. And Brady Oliveira wasn't just consistent tonight. He was a superstar, maybe the best player on the field. It's still hard to wrap your head around when you think about it that Zach Caleros throws two interceptions for touchdowns for the Alouettes. He threw another pick in the first half, and yet Winnipeg still goes to 9-2 and two after winning the game by 30. And what's next for the Bombers? The traditional meetings against Saskatchewan, Labor Day, and then the Banjo Bowl. And this sked keeps getting tough for the second-place Alouettes in the East. They host BC next week, and then back-to-back -back against the Toronto Argonauts.